Okay, now we're ready to add the big missing feature in our app, which is persisting data. Usually persisting data is done using a database and you have to set up servers and stuff and do network communication. We're gonna keep it real simple and use the browser's local storage API to store some data in the user's browser. That means there's no servers involved, it's real easy. And as long as they're continuing to use the same browser, they'll see the same data after they reload the page or come back another day. Now I've made some little helper functions that I'm importing here that will help us to use local storage to persist data. So we have persist data, load data, and clear data. Those are all defined in persist.imba. Persist data will store some data that's passed in into the browser's local storage. Load data will retrieve that same data. And clear data will delete all the data under our local storage key. If you never used local storage before, you don't have to worry about it because these little helper functions are gonna be all we need. Okay, so to make use of these, what we're gonna do is instead of having a habits array here, we're just gonna say load data. And I set up the load data function to return an empty array if there's no data already stored, which will be the case the first time we run this. Now I'm also gonna make a persist method. So we'll say def persist. And inside of there, we'll say persist data, which is the helper function I made, habits. So we're gonna call the persist data function with the habits array, which represents the whole state of our application every time persist is called. So if you reset all habits, we should call persist. If you add a habit, we should call persist. If you delete an item, we should call persist. And if you toggle an item, we should also call persist. So after doing any of those things that change the data, we save that data into local storage so that if the user reloads, every time they reload, load data will be called and the data that had been stored will be loaded in. Okay, so we should try it. But I wanna do one thing first. Because local storage is local to my browser and to your browser, we could be a little bit out of sync. You might have different data in your browser than I do in mine. In fact, I do have some already stored in mine because I was working on this lesson before I started recording it. So I see a few habits here, but I'm guessing you don't. So I'm gonna make a button that resets the local storage so that we're both on the same page. And I'll just add that button here where we have these other little buttons. And we'll say button at click handle clear data and the label will say clear data and then I'll make this method def handle clear data and that will call clear data which is one of the helper functions I made and then it will also set habits equal to an empty array so now I'm going to click clear data that cleared out mine yours should be unchanged but you can see if I add a couple items and then I click clear data it clears it out now if I reload still cleared out now we can test it so I'll add a few items, I'll toggle a couple of them, and I'll delete one of them. And then when I reload, we get all the exact same stuff, even after reloading. So that means our app is persisting the data. Let's also try this reset all, reload, that works. And it would be easy enough to store this toggle property, but I don't think that needs to be persisted. So we're just storing the state of this habits array, which represents this list of habits. And now this app is actually kind of usable. You could actually use it. You could come back the next day and you would see the same data and you could check off the habits.